So we're going to continue setting up for the ability to provide a user interface for the task processor users to be able to acquire tasks from the work queue and to complete them. In this section of the tutorial, we'll configure a task list query that will fetch a list of process tasks. A task list query is a special kind of query in the data services tab in XCP Designer. When added as a data service or interaction to a page, it will return a list of work items from the specified work queue or inbox. The default behavior is to allow an end user to select a work queue from a drop down list. However, we'll use the application parameter that we specified in the previous section to specify the work queue name and then use that queue name to filter the list to just that work queue without user intervention. In the XCP Navigator, select the Data Services tab, then right click the Task List Query node and select New Task List Query. For label, enter TLQ underscore Claims Q Query. For tasks assigned to, select a work queue, then click Finish. In the TLQ Claims Q Query Model Editor, in the Basics tab, down here in the Tasks Assigned To section, select a work queue. For Filter by Work Queue, click the green Add button. And in the Add Work Queue dialog in the pane on the left, select the Param underscore Claims Work Queue application parameter that's designed to hold the name of a work queue. Move the selected work queue to the right side and click OK. This will restrict the query to return the list of tasks of only those from the single query. Next, scroll the Basics tab down until you see the section Filter by Process and select Selected Processes. Then click the green Add button. Now move the Claim Processing version 1 available process to the Selected Processes side and click OK. This will restrict the query to return the list of tasks to only those from this single process. Select the Dataset tab. Here is where we'll select the output columns from the context data pane at the right, which shows process data that's common to the processes selected in the Basics tab, as well as general task information. If we hadn't chosen to filter the task list query by any processes on the Basics tab, this context data tree would only let us select task information from the tasks node and the packages node would be empty. When we want a task list to show processes from multiple processes, it's a good idea to set them up with a similar process data model. In the context data top pane at the right, navigate to and select task list, packages, task. You can see how the task properties appear in the context data bottom pane. So double click on task name to add it to the output columns. Double click on set date. In the context data top pane, navigate to and select task list, packages, claim. Then in the bottom pane, double click name. With the packages claim folder still selected, in the bottom pane, double click amount and claim status to add those as output columns too. In the context data top pane, navigate to and select task list, packages, policy. And then in the bottom pane, double click last name. Now let's save the TLQ claims Q query model, check the problems tab for errors, and then close the editor. And now we should be able to use this task list query on the tasks page in the next section.